Hi ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be going over a screencast so that you can find a photo for your final drawings. You're going to need to find two pairs of human eyes. They're going to need to be photographs of real people that are not drawings, CGI, or cartoons. And it needs to be one man and one woman, so you have some choices. There's lots of ways to go about your Google search. You can put in real eyes, human eyes, pairs of eyes, or you can search for a specific person. And it's important that it is a front view of that specific person. So let's get started. So I'm gonna have you go to Google and I'm gonna put in a pair of human eyes. Now, depending on the day, sometimes you're gonna get better results than others. Go ahead and click on images and then take a look and see what you find. I'm going to show you just a couple of examples. Your person can be any ethnicity, any race, any skin tone or color. You just want to find a front view that's clear where you can see the full eyes and eyebrows. It's preferable, again, if you choose an adult, not a child, or someone that's too old the spacing for children is not approximately one eye space in between. And if you choose someone that's a little older, you're going to need to draw in any crinkles or wrinkles or um, indentations from the face. So just kind of keep that in mind. So it's easier if you have a specific person in mind. So I've drawn Cameron Diaz's eyes before, so I put her in my search engine. I found a photograph that I liked. I uh, zoomed in if possible, and then I took a screenshot of it. I like to use assistive touch uh, because I keep my button to take um, screenshots in it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have that in my photos. The other person that I picked was Tom Hardy. Again, sometimes it's preferable to click on the website to get a larger photo. But if not, you can always go back just to the Google screen and take a picture or screenshot rather, and then you can edit from that point. Uh, just again, keep in mind, it needs to be a front view. This example that's a little larger on the right, this example and the next example are a little bit too turned, what's called three quarter view. You really do need to find a front view of your person. Next part is about how to crop, tilt, and change the photo. And the directions are also going to be at the end of this screencast. So first you go into photos and at the top right in blue, you'll see the words edit. And on the left hand side in the center, you're going to see uh, three different symbols. You're going to select the bottom square. You know it's selected because it has a yellow dot underneath it. This is your crop tool. And what you do is you just select and hold on each line at the top and bottom and then that allows you to crop in and then on this particular photo i'm going to crop in on the right and the left and because it's so zoomed in i have lost the side of the temples but that's just how the photograph is i still have skin below and above the eye next you select the middle three circles and that's how you change the colors and you're going to select monochromatic but silver tone and noir are options as well. When you're done, I usually put a heart in it so that you can find it with ease and you would be drawing from that particular photograph. Now, for this particular example, Cameron Diaz, her face is a front view, but her eyes and her head are tilted a little bit. So I'm still gonna be in crop, but on the right hand side, you select straighten. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to slide up and down to tilt the eyes until the head is turned as if they are looking straight ahead at you and not at an angle. So I do the tilting and then I again select and hold that rectangle at the edges on the top and the bottom and that allows me to crop up and down. Again I leave some space above the eyebrows and some space below. And because I can see her ear and her temple, I'm gonna include it in the photo and the hair that's overlapping the skin on her right side. 
And again, if the tilt's not right, you can go ahead and go back and adjust the angle. So I say to crop first and then change it to a black and white. Again, it's called monochromatic photo because you are gonna be shading in pencil, it's easier to understand how to shade if the photo is already in black and white. And then I put a little heart on it, and then I know I can find it with ease. And these are just a couple of other examples of photos that I have uh, saved for sources. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day, and I will uh, see you guys really soon.